Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be charging this automotive battery. And uh, a few things to know about it is most of these car batteries are 12 volt. That's not always the case, but uh, for the most part they are. And these ones are the maintenance free, uh, where you don't add any of the distilled water. And you can tell the tops here have the vent caps, but there's nowhere to, to add the water on these ones. So uh, first off, you want to make sure your battery is well ventilated. Outside is good as long as it's not raining and uh, you want to put the charger far away from the battery Of course, you never want to put the battery on top of the charger or the charger on top of the battery and you never want to Have any connection between the two posts any metal that would touch both of them could uh, cause some big trouble So uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, well, I like to charge it with the as I start off with the battery charger unplugged and so the first thing you want to do is uh, locate the positive side, which is usually indicated by the red. And uh, you can find the positive symbol on the battery and connect that first. Also, the positive side is usually a bigger terminal than the, than the negative or the ground. So then connect the, uh, the ground. Then coming over to the charger, I want to make sure that the settings are all correct. This is a 12 volt charger, that's the only option. Some of them do show uh, a six volt option as well. And uh, also we're charging this as a maintenance free deep cycle instead of the conventional low maintenance because that's the battery type that we're working with. And um, very important when charging, this one we're gonna set on the lowest setting which is the two amp. And uh, that's the best way to charge a battery is slowly. The way you can kind of think about that is like uh, pouring a bunch of soda, like uh, a, like a Coca-Cola or a drink. If you pour it real fast, it'll fizz up and it won't be as eff effective as if you tilt your glass sideways and slowly pour it in. So that's just kind of an analogy. It's not exactly <laughs> true with this, but that's kind of a way you can think of it is these batteries will best be charged by the lowest uh, amount of, of amperage. So after everything's uh, set, just plug it, plug it together. And uh, some of these battery chargers will turn off automatically once it's done, some will not. So maybe just come and check back on it. And uh, as you can see, there's an indicator on here. This is a direct current DC amps. And once it gets to 100%, we know that we'll have a full charge. This one also has a, a light to indicate that. Uh, so then when you're done, just unplug the charger and go remove the cables. Uh, just be careful. Make sure that you never uh, have this in, a, in an enclosed area where you could have any spark or explosion happen. Because uh, you always want to be very careful when working with electricity. So if there's any other comments you have, please put them down in the comments, and thanks for watching, guys.